Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in the episode 3 of Alan Wake 2 walkthrough. So we will continue where we left off in the last episode. So continuing to follow Nightingale Trail and look around the crime scene. Alright, so let's head straight there guys. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. The clues. <sighs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. Back to the murder site. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. It feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. So let's see but now. the page did place him at Cauldron Lake. In an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Something is on the table. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Good eye. Is there something for the case board? And another sign. So here is something else. Bare feet. Nightingale. All of his tracks. Footprints. Let's see. Right. So two more clues. Profile someone. Okay. So let's go and find Nightingale. Let's head down. What is this? This to go to the witch hut, so no. But on the other side. The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go from here? Let's see. Oh. I can feel something. A presence. Not even Drop some far. ammunition here. We have some profiling to do and the overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. All right. Which is Lado? What we have here, a radio, case board, and so last clue, find evidence. Let's see now what we have here. And there's the tree. 
What is that? Seems like it's reacting oh, to it's the light. Ghost. Okay. My flashlight. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. So let's see now. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. No more fluids and... Is witch's ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Okay, girl. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed. I need to find the witch's hut. I know where it is. So let's just go there, guys. Right here. Light is the key. This is the witch's hut. Get the lights working in the witch hut. Locate the fuse. Anderson. In immediate well, area. In so let's woods. check here. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna. This fuse is busted. Fuse is busted. Get some writings. I don't care too much about that. What do we have here? More bullets. Nice. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Kids An lunch Alex box. Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. But the he really hates the movies. We can do actually with this. Lunch boxes, you're gathering these pieces and then you can upgrade your weapons, okay. So but still no fuse. This one looks good. And People should really fuse, stop okay. littering though. Very nice. So nothing else here. Cuts now. The fuse box is probably going right here. And yeah. Now we can investigate the witch hut. And what Another we have page. here? Manuscript page. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. So let's see now this. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Right. So let's do profiling. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. And there is more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. 
Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. Very good. Go back to the general store. Yeah. I need to check the general store for the heart. Nothing else is here. Oh, it is. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. Some more I think I know how to get into the overlap. And I'm gonna make a quick save here, I guys. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. Right, right here. Back to the general store. There, where is the light? And yeah. Back to the general store, guys. So let's find the cart. No, what do we have here? Nothing. Christ! What the fuck? Oh my god, man! That's that guy. Toggle flash at the boost to burn throughout the darkness surrounding enemies. Okay. To the tree. Are those shadows protecting it? Body, yeah. Little bit of dodge. Die, man. Yeah. A cultist. That's it from that guy. Like Nightingale. His painkillers, okay, fuck that. So the heart is right in this fridge. You can use the light to just take it. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. So there are a few more things to pick up here, guys. And now I need to give the heart As to the witch. You can see some containers and sense. point of interest. So there is the shotgun. Then we have you have a few things to pick here. So one more row of backpack slots. Then a bit of ammunition and one more minus brick page. And I think that's it. Oh no, here is more. Some more bullets. And now, how to open this lock? Alright. So let's sort the pages now to close. And the heart is here. Sounds literary. But what does it mean? Found the heart in the fridge, just like the page said I would. And the manuscript page. Okay. So here you can find the combination for the lock there. I'm not gonna get too much into it now. Because the combination is 739 guys. So then just go here and take this weapon. Thank you. And here is the shotgun. It's gonna be useful. Take a quick slot weapon, so okay, let's do that now. So pistol is going to be number one. Shotgun number two and the painkillers number three, guys. So now we need to go and put the place, put the heart in the witch sign and perform the ritual. Okay, so let's go back now. Casey, there are cultists in the area, they're taken like Nightingale. 
Thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. So let's see now. Went to the light. And now there are a few like monsters here. But you can easily just uh what? Get through what? there. What? You can easily distract them. Just go into the light. You don't need to spend bullets on them. And then avoid them like this. And run straight into the Run straight here and then just quickly put the nighting in cart and you will get to the cut scene. So no bullets spent. On your way. Defeat Nightingale. Casey. Mm. Casey, do you read me? Yeah, give me this. But only two bullets. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Let's go solo, then. Logan. Mom, help. Logan. Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Yeah. Would you please help me? What was that? Wait. Did I get turned around? What is no, this? No, this is right. This place is looping. Like a nightmare. Come on. Page. Where we need to go, actually. Need to find Nightingale. Yeah, Nightingale. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This now. Scary. He's here, Nightingale. Where? More pages. Of everything. Thank you. <laughs> there was nothing here. Come on, buddy. What the 
fucked. I think you're mad, come on. And here we go. I think I... Come on, man. Now let's see. Burn the heart and into the heart. Yeah. No, let's no, continue. No. Please, yes, thank you. Eight bullets for the shotgun. Very good. Oh, no. He's hiding behind the trees. Fucking god. Come on, bitch. I think uh, Again. In the head. Charge the flashlight and let's go. I don't know if I'm going the right way now, but I think it is. Oops, again, behind the trees, right? Bastard. Come on, man. In the head. Yeah, very fast. Let's go. So now, yeah, more items. Come on, more bullets. Thanks. Nightingale. In the head. Flashlight. Let's go. So now here. Where is him? No. I hate when he grapple me. Gun is not loaded. Yeah, man, come on. Feel alive. Now a little bit of battery and. Oh my god, he's still not dead. How is this possible? Yeah, that's Scratch. Sir, calm down. 
I'm gonna need you to take a breath. It's... It's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. Yeah. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Yeah, man. 13 years. 13. And the end of the chapter. Very nice. And continue. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared. You crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Yeah, buddy. So investigate the previously flooded uh, area. Casey? It's an optional. So I'm let's just there. quick look Is now. Dark place? We are at the beach here, so we need to go here, here. Through the overlap and the car is there so i will save here okay just quick go through this radio pages all right car, and now get your bear let's just do a, our cases so nightingale goes missing for 13 years shows up murdered and then turns into a monster after i stop nightingale a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Weird case. So this case is now closed. And we have the cult of the tree. But nothing to add here for now. And lunch boxes. That's point of interest cases. Finding a Casey Moody lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? And yeah, so I think I will end the episode here, guys. Thank you for joining me in this episode number three. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and join me in another video, guys, in the episode number four of the Alan Wake 2 walkthrough. And see you then. Bye.